Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. For this week's video, we've got a great one lined up for you guys. We're gonna be testing Fender's latest and greatest noiseless pickups, generation four noiseless, versus their latest and greatest single coils. So it should be a really interesting comparison. Let's find out if the noiseless pickups have caught up to single coils. <laughs> Now our test guitar for today's comparison is this absolutely wonderful American Professional Series Stratocaster ash body in this wonderful sienna sunburst finish so the american professional strat comes stock with vmod pickups which are the latest generation of true single coil pickups from fender so i'll put up a graphic right here so here's the deal bridge pickup is straight alnico 5 the middle pickup is alnico 2 on the bass strings and alnico 5 on the treble strings and your neck pickup is alnico 2 on the bass strings and alnico 3 on the treble now I'll give you guys my opinion of the VMOD pickups at the end of the video. I don't want to color anybody's perception before we do our blind test. Now going up against the VMOD pickups today are the N4 noiseless pickups from Fender, which are supposed to sound the most like a single coil ever. So for new players who may not know what a noiseless pickup is designed for, it's designed to eliminate 60 cycle hum. And if you don't know what that is, it sounds a little something like this. Super annoying, right? That's what you have to deal with when you use a true single coil and lots of distortion. Now here's the same exact settings with our noiseless pickups. So the noiseless pickups definitely do a good job eliminating most of the hum and buzz associated with regular single coils. But the question we have to ask today is, do they sound any good? All right, so let's start our blind test. I'm gonna play five different riffs for you guys going through each one of the Stratocaster pickup positions. And I wanna see if you guys can figure out which pickup is which. So can you identify the noiseless from the true single coil? Let's find out how far fenders and fours have come. So here's the results for test number one. Guitar one was the N4 noiseless pickups, and of course then guitar two were the true single coils. For test number two, guitar one were the true single coils and guitar two was the noiseless pickups. All right, let's look at the results for test number three. Guitar number one were noiseless pickups and guitar number two were the single coils. Hopefully at this point in the blind test, you guys are getting good at identifying both pickups. It's a great ear training exercise and it's a lot of fun. So here's the results for number four is single coil and noiseless pickups. <laughs> So let's check out the results for test number five in the bridge pickup. Guitar number one were the noiseless pickups and guitar number two were the true single coils. All right, so that was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys did well. What we need to do now is hit them up with some overdrive. Obviously that's why noiseless pickups exist so that we can use overdrive without all that hum and buzz. So we're gonna be using the True North overdrive pedal. We're gonna do two different settings, sort of a, a light overdrive and a medium overdrive. Very cool pedal, check them out. <laughs> 
For the overdrive section, I'm going to let you guys know which pickups are which, but if you want to keep doing a blind test, just turn away from your screen while the guitars are playing, and you can still do one for yourself, but other than that, off we go. So here's my final thoughts at the end of all those playing comparisons. First of all, let's start with the V-Mods. I think they're a great classic sounding Strat pickup. Now, are the you know different Alnico magnets in the same pickup a game changer? I have to honestly say no, I don't think they are. I don't think they sound you know way better than previous models. Um, all the other you know Alnico Strat pickups to me sound just as good. So I don't think that's a game changer. It's an interesting idea but it didn't like blow me away. I wasn't like, this is the best single coil I've ever heard. They're great sounding, bright, present, uh, classic sounding pickups. So good job Fender on that. Uh, still suffers a little bit from, you know, higher volume and brightness on your third string. So again, that's a common Strat thing. I kind of wish on their flagship model, they would go to a more balanced, you know, pickup. It's, it's pretty subtle and if you use you know, compression or overdrive, really it disappears. But if you play clean a lot like I do, um, you'll notice it going from the fourth string to the third string to the second string, back to the third string. Uh, it still has a little bit of that volume boost. Now, as for the N4s, I've got to give Fender credit. They sound like a great set of single coil pickups. You know, if you compared them back to back like we just did and you didn't know one was noiseless, you would just think, hey, both of them have great sounding single coil pickups but they sound slightly different, right? Different brands or something like that. You would have no idea one was noiseless until you hit them with a lot of gain and then the differences would become quite apparent. That being said, I've yet to come across a noiseless pickup that sounds like a single coil. I just don't think it can be done. The construction methods are so different between those two sets of pickups. So I think Fender gets close, but doesn't quite capture that chimey, high-end, like that really pristine clarity that only comes from single coil pickups. Now, another advantage of the N4s, at least for me, is that the string to string balance is very even. So the dynamics I choose to play with really come through and I'm not a slave to that really bright third string. So should you guys spring for some expensive aftermarket or Fender noiseless pickups, or should you stick with the single coils? Well, that's the million dollar question. And for me, it comes down to two factors. First of all, application and then location. And application simply means how do you play? What genres do you play? So if you play with a lot of gain all the time, I would go noiseless. The slight differences in frequencies will soon be lost in compression and overdrive and delay or whatever you use. And the advantages of never having to deal with 60 cycle hum is huge. So if you play with a lot of gain, go noiseless. 
And secondly is, are you taking your guitar out to different venues to play all the time? Are you a gigging guitarist? Are you going to friend's house, practice rehearsals, clubs and venues? Then again, I would recommend noiseless pickups because no matter you know, what the lighting situation is, the electronics, your guitar is gonna remain quiet. So in the end, that's what it comes down to for me. If I'm gonna be leaving the house, I'll likely grab a guitar with noiseless pickups. If I'm gonna be recording like in a controlled environment like the studio, then I still prefer the tone of true single coils. If you guys enjoy videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet by clicking right here. Other than that, the rest of my information will be on the screen. You can check out t-shirts and tab store and all that stuff in the video description below. Have a great week.